welcome back to my final video in this series of making a stained glass and birch log lamp. Enjoy! Now I'm taking a five and a half inch wide and I'm cutting it square so I'm cutting a five and a half inch piece off of this white cedar and this is going to be the base for the hood and the hood will have a finial on it and it will raise up for airflow for the uh, heat of the lamp. Use LEDs they won't get hot but I still design them with airflow just to be on the safe side. I added several links in the description below that will take you to different kinds of lights including the Edison style light and they're all LED. I had made this finial for a, uh, a bowl lid top some time ago but it's been sitting around and I thought this would make the perfect top. So what I'm doing now is finding absolute center on this five and a half inch square piece of uh, actually it's cedar, white cedar. And I will figure out from there the uh, tenon on the bottom of this is about two inches in diameter edge to edge and I'll cut out maybe two and an eighth inch diameter so I have a little wiggle room and that's what I'm measuring right now.
I did order a drill press, which would have been a thousand times easier to make this hole with, but I don't know what is going on with all these back orders. Uh, you know, good, who knows? I mean, you think manufacturers would want to sell their items. I, I don't understand what's going on, but in any event, I don't have the drill press, so I'm doing this by hand, and it's, yeah, I had to end up chiseling it out because I just it just didn't work, but uh, that's the way it goes. I have not yet secured the finial onto that uh, five and a half inch square piece of cedar, so I, I wanted to get a feel for how high I had to raise it and also the pieces that would be glued to the underside of that to hold it into place to prevent it from sliding away from that four inch square hole at the top. Now what I'm doing is cutting the little squares that will be glued to the underside of the hood and they will hold the whole hood in place with inside that four inch square hole. This will make more sense as you continue to watch and see what I've done. The last couple of processes would have been much easier to cut and sand within a workshop that I have, but I lost electric, so without power, none of my tools worked, so I had to do most of this by hand. can see what I call risers. They keep the hood elevated for airflow and I just used uh, stained pine and I like them on the diagonal like that. It was just an unusual asymmetrical look and um, I just like doing things that are a little un on the unusual side. <music>
I installed a cable wire with an inline switch so you don't have to hook it up to a dimmer or a timer although I love to do that and have these on dimmers and timers throughout my house and it's very convenient to never go into a darkened room when you have it on a timer. Well, there it is. A couple of different shots, different sides, and I think it turned out pretty nice. Here are a few other lamps that I made, just some real quick shots. Well, I hope you enjoyed this four-part series of my stained glass and log lamp. Stay tuned for more. Please subscribe, hit the bell button for notifications, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to look in the description for all the extra links that I have. See you next week.